The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. So from the Mount of Olives, as it is called, they went back to Jerusalem a short distance away, no more than a Sabbath walk. And when they reached the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. There were Peter and John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Jude son of James. With one heart, all these joined constantly in prayer, together with some women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. And our response is taken from Psalm 27. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? Yahweh is the fortress of my life. Whom should I dread? One thing I ask of Yahweh, one thing I seek, to dwell in Yahweh's house all the days of my life, to enjoy the sweetness of Yahweh, to seek out his temple. Yahweh, hear my voice as I cry. Pity me, answer me. Of you, my heart has said, seek his face. Your face, Yahweh, I seek. And our second reading is taken from the first letter of the Apostle Peter. But in so far as you share in the sufferings of Christ, be glad, so that you may enjoy a much greater gladness when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted for bearing Christ's name, blessed are you, for on you rests the Spirit of God, the Spirit of glory, None of you should ever deserve to suffer for being a murderer, a thief, a criminal, or an informer. But if any one of you should suffer for being a Christian, then there must be no shame, but thanksgiving to God for bearing this name. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. After saying this, Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son so that your son may glorify you. So that just as you have given him power over all humanity, he may give eternal life to all those you have entrusted to him. And eternal life is this, to know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I have glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. Now, Father, glorify me with that glory I had with you before ever the world existed. I've revealed your name to those whom you took from the world to give me. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now at last they have recognized that all you have given me comes from you. For I have given them the teaching you gave to me, and they have indeed accepted it, and know for certain that I came from you, and have believed that it was you who sent me. It's for them that I pray. I'm not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, because they belong to you. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine, and in them I am glorified. I'm no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, keep those you have given me true to your name, so that they may be one like us. The Gospel of the Lord.